Oh. Mac! Oh. <laughs> He's just chilling out. Oh, that's quite large. That's quite big. Impressive. It just keeps fucking evolving like a Pokemon. Ah, oh, the the detail in the arms is so cool. The eyes? Look at the eyes on it. Torch it. Torch it. Because I do I do clay as well. I make stuff with clay. All the calves, wrinkles, and details on every bit of tendril is incredible. Oh my! And welcome back fellow skeletons. If you're new here, I'm Skelly and today we're doing a first time watching of The Thing 1982. So not technically a first time watching. I, I have seen a little bit of it when I was younger but I don't remember anything um, other than <clears throat> I think there's like a scene at the beginning with the dog and I remember really not liking what happened but I can't quite remember what happened. So I'm very aware of the really cool practical effects and things and a warning as always if you don't like the fact that I'm gonna talk and swoon over all of the practical effects the artistry and the cinematography I would fuck off because I'm absolutely obsessed with it um, as an artist so that's 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 your warning that's been your warning um, I do talk a lot I already know going into this that I'm gonna love it so I really uh, like I'm really happy to have you guys here with me to see it and obviously this is John Carpenter and if you don't know me you know that I love John Carpenter I will put up a really horrifying picture of me in my uh <laughs> Michael Myers cosplay. I love Mikey so much. I absolutely Halloween is what probably absolute favorite OG um, horror films. Uh, huge, huge, huge Mikey fan. Um, and also, controversial opinion. I love the Rob Zombie Halloween films too. <laughs> and, and I hope that actually no, I do. I genuinely do hope that I piss people off in the comments with that because um, the Rob Zombie ones. If you can separate them from the um, original Halloween films and what jo John Carpenter has done they're fucking good they're really good we don't talk about um Halloween for and um, like uh, after they don't exist to me <laughs> to be fair I really loved the last Halloween um was it Halloween ends I think it was Halloween ends because the way that Mikey dies Let's be honest, he hasn't died because they're going to milk that franchise as long as they can. The way that Mikey dies in that was really f cool. That was, that was such an awesome scene. But the one before that, I was like, nah. Anyway, enough about Halloween. Let's talk about the thing. And it's alien horror. And so when I was growing up, I wasn't really a huge fan of like sci-fi alien horror. But the last few years, I've been obsessed with like alien, like sci-fi horror so much. I've always been more like... um. I, I've already said this before, my favourite horror is found footage documentary style. I really like the amateur ones. That, okay, bear in mind, it can be done very badly. We all know that found foot, there is more found footage, more found footage stuff than there is good. But I think like that amateur style, um, if it's done properly, like creep and grave encounters, it is phenomenal and I love it and I love it so much. I've said before, simple horror is my favourite horror. If you are able to create something really spine chilling from the most simplest of things this is why i love original horrors because it's like they did everything with what they could have they don't they didn't have access to cgi like we do so and i've said it before my opinions about cgi i don't hate it i just think it's overused the true artistry that that humans are capable of if they are if they are if they have hard limits it can can create masterpieces so yeah this is why I'm mainly going back and watching old ones that I've missed because it's so fascinating and crazy to see what humans are capable of, especially 
absolutely insane humans that love horror so yeah i know i've been mainly sticking to first time watching and blind reacts lately but i would like to go back um and rewatch some stuff that i saw when i was going through my um <laughs> my teen horror obsession phase which um yeah I was very lucky that my parents didn't really give a shit what I watched, so that's where all of the um, horror knowledge comes from, the fact that when I was very young, I binge watched a lot of horror films. I think it really explains parts of my personality today, actually. Hmm. Either way. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's a, there's a few things, um, like in the comments that you guys have been saying, hey, watch this, watch this, and I'm like, I've already seen them, and I love them. Thank you for the recommendation. I, I adore those films. If I get away, get out of the way, some of the things that I haven't seen, the big ones, like um, Day of the Dead is on my watch list. Um, all the big films, get out of the way. Like I haven't seen Poltergeist either, um, and things like that, and then I can start re-watching stuff, which will be great to go back and see things, especially films that I absolutely adore. So it'll be really good to re-watch again for the knowledge that I have. And also, um, and any tri trivia knowledge I have, but also like artistic knowledge and things, especially if it's ones that I've always looked, I've looked behind the scenes with, and I know some of how they did some of the practical effects and stuff. But it will be really cool to chat about um, those kind of films with you from a hey, I've seen this, I love this, I'm a big fan of this, I love this part, I'm really excited for this part to come out, kind of thing. So that would be really good to do that. Um, but I do have a huge list of uh, things I'm working through that you've asked for as well. So thank you again for the recommendations; they're always brilliant. And know it's mainly been zombie films lately um but we're branching out a little bit um, i absolutely love the alien films uh but i haven't seen them in such a long time as well so i'm considering doing a rewatch of those before we jump in i would like to remind you all that i live stream on twitch mondays tuesdays and wednesdays 9 p.m uk time i play um spooky games horror games with my heart monitor and i also play elder scrolls online lately um and i also run a paranormal podcast called scare talks me and my co-host jordan we talk all things spooky and scary and creepy pastas and stuff so it's lots of fun and we'd love to have you hang out for that one um again i'm gonna stop rambling and jump right in so grab a snack grab a drink and let's jump into this let's go my boy it's like the flying saucers from the sims <laughs> okay all right now that's a sick intro <laughs> I also love um, survival uh, films and books and things that, like are in the Antarctica. They're brilliant. There's something so scary about that. Like they like the ones about um, when they go away on a ship or somewhere and they like never come back and then you learn all the stuff that happened on the ship. It's so good. That's the best kind of horror. If you have any recommendations for that, please let me know. It's so pretty. Just endless nothing for miles and miles and miles. <gasps> Puppy! Oh, he's so lovely! Oh, look at him! Huskies are my favourite. Oh, baby. <laughs> I think, yeah, like I'm vaguely remembering something not good happening to this dog. And I don't know. I'm not going to be able to cope. Oh, he's so beautiful. He's so beautiful. Look at him go. Look at him go. <laughs> he's so happy. Oh. That's my buddy. Wait. What? For what reason? Leave my guy alone. Okay, missing every shot though. <laughs> Just wizard. Oh, let's go. He looks so young though. 
Can't be as bad as me playing. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> uh, that's uh, one way. I get really stroppy and competitive, so that's a vibe. That's a vibe. I swear to god, leave this dog alone. Look at the sunglasses. His hair is very nice as well. I like those sunglasses. I really want some. Oh, that's not part of theirs. Okay. I recommend shooting it down. If you... For one dog? Chill, bro. Somebody's mother didn't love them enough. Is that their dog? Yeah. I have a feeling that it's got a disease. Maybe. <gasps> Oops! <laughs> Fuck me. This this guy, I swear. Alright. Yeah. I think I know. <laughs> no, I still couldn't kill him. Guess he is harboring the thing. It says, like. Mm, I guess really if you think about it, I guess it could be a madman, but someone that intent on killing a dog There's got to be a reason for it, surely. I hate it. That's a hell of an intro. Yeah, John Carpenter knows exactly what he's doing with that intro. It's gonna pull on the heartstrings of anyone. Easy. Yes. Look at his eyes. Oh, come on. Four stitches. Barely grazed you. Don't be such a baby. Is he even nose piercing? So what are they here for? <laughs> oh. They shot him in the eye. Nice. It says here only eight weeks. Well, that's not yeah, this is making me really long. crave oh, shit, the man. alien films. Oh, what it is lately. Alien sci-fi horror is really scratching an itch. An hour there, an hour back. Yeah, so I mean, these kind of circumstances can make you go stir crazy, can't they? His hair, bruh. Look at how much snow is on those barrels. Good music. Dun 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 dun. Yeah. Pacing is just amazing. Nalls, will you turn that crap down? I'm trying to get some sleep. I was shot today. <laughs> I mean, fair enough. Such a cool place. It's super cozy. Hey, puppy. What you up to? What you up to, buddy? Oh, he doing a sneak. He doing a sneaky sneak. Gee, it's just endless. Just endless. Anybody there? Hey, Sweden! Ah, hey, Sweden. <laughs> hey, Norwegian! <laughs> that looks cool. I can't lie. Here's Johnny. Well, that's not that's not good. It's not good at all. A bit covered in blood as well. Oh. Back. Oh. <laughs> he's just he's just chilling out. Oh, his blood. Uh, oh. 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 His blood is frozen. I've never seen that. That's cool. I mean, like, not cool, but you know, that's cool. What the hell happened here? Yeah, he killed himself. It's been a while, obviously. All the ice has gotten in. Although, to be fair, one snowstorm could put the place looking like that, so. Dude, you're not going to be able to read any of that. What's the point? Portable video unit. Anything? That's a bit better, yeah. Only Norwegian. What did you expect? <laughs> what are you doing, Doc? Could be important work. I want to take it back with us. Well, All right, no, fair enough, actually. 
I like his jacket too. That's cute. Hey, Copper, come here. Hey, Copper. I love the name Copper. I was probably his last name, but it's so cool. My friend's puppy school Copper. The fuck is that? Maybe they found a fossil. The remains of some animal what? buried in the ice and they chopped it up. But where is it? Huge. That's worrying. It's still around. Oh. Oh dear. <laughs> oh. What do you mean, what is that? What do you think it is? <laughs> I got very superstitious stuck in my head now. Puppy. They're making a the dog look evil. <laughs> like he's plotting. <laughs> he's just a little guy. <laughs> oh. But maybe maybe the infection is intelligent. We found this. We found this. It looks fucking cool though. <laughs> look at the purple as well. Oh, dead. Uh, bro, the arts department. So good. The way it's cool is like this. Oh, it's so cool. The steam coming Where? off of it. I'd like you to start an autopsy, right? Where? How? <laughs> Where do you start? His face, he's like... And the blood frozen off of it. Oh, it's just incredible. So cool, dude. So cool. Ah, oh, the faces. They're like merging into each other. Was this two people merging together? They're not questioning this enough. No one's talking. The dog watching like, was it me, I swear. Ooh. What did they use for the flesh? That's so cool. Like the thinner layer over the top. All the veins as well. Oh, they're trying to check what's in his stomach. Anything doubled Justin. up? Seem to be normal. So the insides are normal, but the outsides are not. Oh, look at the eyes and the teeth and how it's like merging into the other one. That's so cool. I really want to play pool now. This like whole bar area looks super chill. I want to be there. The lighting and everything. Did he bite him? Well, they're obviously all had interaction with the dog. It's a very well-trained dog as well, as in like, like just acting in general. Like, he, does that make sense? Like he's playing the part of being really sus really well. Go ahead, what are you waiting for? Ah, uh, they have more of them. He's gonna infect all of the other dogs. Excellent. Huh? That's weird. Oh, he's very sus, isn't he? They're wary, aren't they? He's just looking straight ahead. That dog has two different eye colours. Oh, okay, yeah, they're not. They clocked on. They clocked on. Hey Demogorgon! Oh my goodness me! They're like little tentacles on his back. Get out bro, you got their sleeve. Oh, it's so cool. He's like a spider. Oh, bless them. Oh, the that's so cool. That's a clever dog. No! No, 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 no. Oh, poor baby. No. Is he gonna see that? Or is it gonna go back to normal? Is 
Jeez, the design for that. I want to draw that. That's so cool. The like tiny thin tentacles coming out of them. Oh, wow. Chef Kiss. I love the art department. You're amazing. How's this gonna go down? Oh, poor babies. That was clever to just close it up. Let's close that up. Let's pretend that never happened. Oh, but if one of the normal dogs can get out of there, <laughs> that thing's gonna be able to get out of there. No, my heart would break. That's clever too. It's good. I'm liking all these characters so far. They're very fucking quick. Put your pants on. <laughs> Mac wants the flamethrower. The flamethrower? Oh man, quick thinking, I love it. We need Mac in Dead by Daylight. I say this every fucking time I watch a horror film. <laughs> He's so cool. He's so slimy. Got all the individual muscles moving. Ew. <laughs> the tendrils. Oh my good. No, poor baby. The level of detail. Oh god, the green coming out. Oh, baby. It just keeps fucking evolving like a Pokemon. Oh my god. Ah, oh, the... The detail in the arms is so cool. All the wrinkles and stuff is just awesome. The eyes? Look at the eyes on it. Torch it, torch it. Just more and more. I, oh my, I have to watch behind the scenes of that. Just more and more coming out of it. Holy sh Oh my God. What a masterpiece. Oh, through the art department. The art department. <laughs> what are they on? I want to see the concept art as well. I know mean, two bizarre creatures to do an autopsy on. I would be putting like 10 layers of gloves on. Because I do, I do clay as well. I make stuff with clay. All the calves, wrinkles and details on every bit of tendril is incredible. So, oh yeah, I mean, it is, it's beautiful. I'd love to do this. I'd love to do set design for shit like this. It's just not really done nowadays. Everything's CGI. Just look at that. All right, new favorite film. You see what we're talking about here is an organism that imitates other life forms and it imitates them perfectly. When this thing attacked our dogs, it tried to digest them, absorb them. Hmm. And in the process, shape its own. That's why it's got so many different pieces and parts of it. It's all the different genetics. That's not dog. It's imitation. We got to uh, it before it had time to finish. Oh. Finish what? So clever. Finish imitating these dogs. Mm. Wait. So the original dog might not have even been a dog. Oh no, they have no. Oh. Are they having to put them down? I couldn't. It, yeah, it's weird that they had that one out and all the others in the kennel. How long was anyone alone with the dog? How does it infect though? Is it blood, bite, saliva? Airborne? It's nothing at all. There's no point telling him really, is there? It's just like, oh, don't, don't worry about it. You'll find that yourself. <laughs> Whatever it was, it was bigger than that block of ice you found. I really don't like how far back that dude's nose piercing is. It's like by his face. Not in the central of his nostril. Thirty-five knots. Screw it. I'm gonna go up anyway. Fuck. Thirty-five knots. Jesus. That's the wind. If anyone doesn't know. Oh, that's quite large. That's quite big. Impressive. The Sims 2 UFO. <laughs> 
It is a very stereotypical um, spaceship, isn't it? <laughs> now I'm just imagining the dog like driving that spaceship, like kind of like the the secret ending of Silent Hill too. <laughs> How long you figure this has been in the ice? <sighs> I mean... Black scatter effects been bringing things up from way down around here for a long time. I'd say... I'd say the ice that's buried in is 100,000 years... 100,000? That would have kept in the ice, too. Yeah. <laughs> it sees a UFO, blows it up. <laughs> Oh, that's pretty far. I guess it tried to to escape and died, but then the ice preserved it. Crashes and this thing. Thing is capsulized. Love it. Out or crawls out and it ends yeah. up freezing. Yeah. The... Crawls out, ends up freezing. They're falling out of the skies like flies. Government knows all about it, right, Mac? Oh, we know the government are hiding UFO shit. We we know. We know. I mean, they're not even hiding it anymore. They're just like, oh yeah, it exists. There's documents about it. They had to become popular anyway, and everyone was just like, who cares? Man, been tossing his dirty drawers in the kitchen trash can. Huh? But now I want my kitchen clean, all right? Germ free. Ew. Cell dog. Huh. Oh, they're able to uh, record that? Doctor's very cool. I like him a lot. Seventy-five percent, one or more as well. It's not looking good, Chief. It's not looking good. <laughs> Oh, you're gonna need to take a shot of that vodka. Oh, shot of that! <laughs> Either or! Keeping that thing around. For we gotta just burn these things. With the tongue, like Get that. Oh, it's so cool. Shove it back in some ice, keep it all preserved and all good, and then give it to the... I don't know, whoever's gonna give you the most money. <laughs> I wouldn't keep it in the store. That's a recipe for disaster. It's definitely a recipe for disaster. It's so shiny and sparkly. <laughs> um. Wait, who was that? That was quick. <gasps> Jesus. <laughs> Oh my goodness me. He was in that room for a second. Dude, that thing moves fast now. Bennings was right there, Mac. I swear to God, it had a hold of him. Surely there would be blood everywhere. I mean, like, it was, it was quite a mess. How many are there now? Stay away from him, bro. Stay away from him, I swear to God. Cool ham, bro. That gave me shivers. That was one of those things out there trying to imitate him, Gary. We gotta burn the rest of them. <laughs> Let's hope the burning the bodies doesn't um make the whatever it is spread as so. well. Build a huge fire and just burn everything. Burn it all. Burn it all to the ground. Are they glad for that flame, bro?
Wait, what was that? What happened? Did he just destroy all the wires? It's not intelligent, is it? Stop some of the chopper pretty good. Nobody Oh Child. dear. Go see if he got the tractor. Nobody gets in and out of here. Nobody. Chill, bro. What is he doing? What is this gonna achieve? You got most of the chopper and the tractor. Oh no. And he's killed the rest of the dogs. Oh, did they just sedate the dogs? You think that thing wanted to be an animal? No dog can make it a thousand miles to the coast. That's a good point, actually. Come on, man. You don't want to hurt anybody. I'll kill you! I mean, they're all gonna die anyway. <laughs> Why does he feel the need to kill everyone, though? I don't really get it. Like, what is that gonna achieve? <laughs> Unless he's infected and it's making him like that. You feel better now? Yeah, your little paddy. <laughs> You're testing me. You're testing me. There was no need. I don't care if the dogs are infected. There is no need to put an axe for a dog's head. I want him in my shack. We'll lock him in the tool shed. Yeah, I mean, for killing a dog as well. Lock you up there and maybe blow it up. I don't know who to trust. I don't know what you mean, Blair. Trust's a tough thing to come by these days. It sure is. Tell you what, why don't you just trust in the Lord? Trust in yourself? I said watch Clark. I don't really know who's who at the minute. It takes me a bit, bit to put names to faces, but I'll get that. <laughs> if I was an imitation, a perfect imitation, how would you know if it was really me? That's a good point. <laughs> I would ask politely. <laughs> or put an axe in your skull. We could take a sample of each person's blood. Oh. Could mix it with uncontaminated blood. I suppose if there's a reaction, we'd know who isn't human. I suppose that's better than what I said. Only a little bit. Keep an eye on Clark. He's close to that dog. Oh yeah, okay, that makes sense. Alright, so Clark was the dog handler. Okay. They need Blair the most. Sucks, man. And he's very unwilling to help as well. So Hey you guys, come here! Wait, did it drink all of their blood? Oh my god. And two. No, the lock is undamaged. Somebody opened it, closed it, and then locked it. You're joking. Oh, that's insane. One. And I got the only key. It's imitated him. We're taking the key. As soon as I'm finished, I return it right away. Ooh. Why don't you get shot? I suppose. Somebody could have lifted it off me. Oh, that's come a... on. That key ring of you. All right, that was fasting. I would, I would have a gun in my hand at every point in time. He's just trying to protect himself. Put it down, Gary. You don't want to hurt anybody. Right. On the floor. I'll be like, it's just for protection. I don't You guys, I don't know who's who. I don't know. You can... On the floor. Why are you allowed a gun? Hmm? Why are you allowed a gun, huh? I don't know about copper, but I give you my word, I did not go near that blood. You're looking a bit sus now, dude. I hope that it's not Mac all along. I don't know who it could be. I have no idea. I feel like you need to kind of be super aware of each one's personality and see. I'm wondering if there's like hints throughout it. That would be cool. Was that all of the extra blood as well? Norris, you and Childs, shoot him up with morphine. Tie him down in the rec room and watch him. Oh. Fuchs, you start working on a new tech. I need Doc's help. Yeah, you don't want to drug me. Mac, I'm not a prisoner! Don't test him. Can they actually I'm gonna hide. use the needle on people when they recorded this? I hate needles. Why does he keep that rag with him? One other thing. I think it rips through your clothes when it takes you over. Windows found some shredded long johns, but the name tag was missing. Oh. They... It took out the name tag? I hate how clever it is. Nobody trusts anybody now. Does he even trust himself? <laughs> Everyone should prepare their own meals, and I suggest we only eat out of cans. Health and safety 
sanitize everything you know covid standards you know but to be fair by now like they would have all probably they've all interacted with each other i think the infection is like quite of a violent one i feel like they have to like tear through someone who's that why would you do that dude oh he's singling them out it not him <laughs> don't go out there on your own why would you go out there on your own Now hold on a minute. Did it plant that? I don't believe that it's McCready. I don't want to stay out here anymore. I want to come back and so What's with the noose? What's with the noose? I want to come back inside, don't you understand? Look, I don't believe it's him, but there was no need for that outburst. Is it Fuchs? Oh no. Yeah, I baited him. Because when I left yesterday, I turned the lights off. Ooh. Ooh. The thing can use lights. The thing planted Mac's shirt there. And then the thing killed uh, Fuchs. And then went up to the station, maybe. We're getting a bit Ghostbusters y with the plane, bro. good this is good excellent this is very good very good and nailing the wood in as well perfect that's what i like to see where's mcgrady i cut him loose of the ladder by his shack cut him loose yeah we're up checking around his place i found this oh the shirt look it was stashed in his own oil furnace Wind must have dislodged it, but I don't think he saw me find it. I made sure I got ahead of That's bait. That's bait. I'm telling you, that's bait. He's one of them. No. When do you All think right, it got to him? To one of those things? Why you tired? Nothing human could have made it back here in this weather without a guide Let's light. open it now. Why are you so damn anxious to let him in here? Because they're so close. Maybe our best chance to blow it away. No. He's trying to make Mac look as sus as possible, but I just think he's genuinely intelligent, so. That's it with me and the whole camp goes. Come on, child. Burn me. Put those torches on the floor and back off. Come on, man. I'm in it. It's cool, McCready. It's cool, man. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, man. Just relax. Just chill. Anybody touches me. That's way too close to that. Ah, uh, no, no, no. <laughs> Not breathing. What? One time to talk. Get him in here. And bring the others. No. What's going on? <laughs> huh? Bro, if he doesn't have hypothermia or something. So, my sweethearts are about to have yourselves a little lynching party, huh? No, I might just have to put an end to you on Johnny Principal's dolls. Ever occur to the jury that any real light sleeper child? Anyone tries to wake me. Uh -uh. Here! There's a lot going on right now. Clear! Clear! <laughs> oh my <laughs> The green, excuse me. Oh, gross. <laughs> That was cool. That was so cool. <laughs> He's dragging himself back. Is he dragging himself back to the body? Where are you going? This is 
spider again. <laughs> My fucking heart rate. Peek peek. Hi. Hi, buddy. Hi. The little eyes coming off. Why is he just skittering on? <laughs> he walked away like he was in trouble or something. I'm speechless. I'm speechless. That was cool though. <laughs> Shit, I got a lot of stuff to draw, man. I want to draw all of these. I guess you do. This is difficult because I know that was quick thinking on Mac's part and that could mean that he's infected. Like, Mac is just skilled. I couldn't do that to myself. Mm. I love how I'm fine with the... <laughs> The thing go, but just cutting your thing thumb open, that was too much for me. It's a crock of shit. <laughs> Let's try the Doc and Clark. Does this really confirm anything, though? And Clark was human, huh? Which makes you a murderer, don't it? Kinda. We'll do you last. I didn't expect to. Oh my god, that's so cool. How did they do that? He went through the floor? Where are you going? Where are you going? Go, go chill out, go cool down in the snow. I wouldn't have expected this to work, I don't know. He's fine, I think he's fine. And when you find the time, I'd rather not spend the rest of this winter tied to this fucking couch! That's fair enough, my guy. That's fair enough. What is all this? Blair's been busy out here all by himself. How long has he known about all this stuff? Something he's been making. It's a ship of some kind. Making? Music's good. We're not getting out of here alive. But neither is that thing. Alright. It's a suicide mission, I guess. I guess they are just gonna have to hope that the rescue team gets them because they can't get out at all. The generator's gone. Any way we can fix it. It's gone. What do you mean it's gone? <laughs> what? <laughs> Alright. We gotta bring this whole place right down into the ice. This is gonna be chaotic and messy. Oh! That's interesting! They still haven't tested his blood, have they? I wonder if he... he's... the OG. Oh, I don't know. His hand in his face. Oh, what the hell? I think it's it's bad because the doctor was so knowledgeable and intelligent. Um, the thing taking over the doctor is the worst possible thing you could ask for. Like they they have no hope whatsoever. With the thing with the intelligence of the doctor, they're done. They're done.
This is a really cool shot. The colours and everything. This silhouette. Just do it. Oh, that was lucky that it didn't go to the um, the post. That's gotta be stop motion. Bound to have killed everyone. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I bet it's killed everyone but the thing. <laughs> oh, 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 Mac? You're still good? That was a miracle. I mean, where's he gonna go? <laughs> Not the only one. Did you kill it? I hope so. Fire's got the temperature up all over the camp. Won't last long though. No. Does it even matter at this point? What do we do? Have a beer. Masterpiece. <laughs> do I do do I need to say anything more? Do I need to say anything more? God, I can't believe it took me that long to see that. I know I say that every time I watch films, but I think that's up there in one of my all-time favorite films. Now, this is this is my kind of shit. This is incredible. The art team, the art department were. I don't even I can't even put it into words I can't even put it into words they were absolutely incredible um obviously I love John Carpenter absolutely adore John Carpenter um I'm just so glad I finally because I had seen bits and pieces of it um but I didn't I all I remembered was like this like a little bit of the start I hadn't remembered anything all the way through I'm just speechless it was so good I'm really like angry at myself for not seeing it but I'm so glad that I get to watch it with you guys too so the concept of the thing is fantastic um that it absorbs and um works on it like it's so intelligent and i really the, it, that was so cool to see like how it got open the it got open the blood locker um and it got the keys that was so cool that's the yeah i'm just i just want to just swoon more over the makeup effects the makeup effects are probably the best makeup effects i think i've ever seen Probably, like to be honest. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm looking over um, Rob Bottin, who did the makeup effects, and he was only 22 when he started the project. Oh, he worked on Seven as well. Wow. Okay. And Game of Thrones. He was he was uncredited on Game of Thrones. Kurt Russell is amazing. Um, I love him in um, like he's in the um, Santa films and Poseidon. He's just a fantastic actor. He did. A, he was just incredible. Mac was throughout the entire thing. I, I liked a lot that it, it was kind of jumping backward and forward between making the viewer feel like is he the thing or is he just super like skilled and knows exactly what he's doing. That was really cool to see because I I didn't I didn't. I had like a second of doubt where I was like maybe it is him but throughout the thing I was throughout because I've watched way too many, many horror films and wait has seen way too many twists and I was like nah it would be t it would be too obvious it was if it was him at the end but um 
he was just great. I just, I loved him so much. He was amazing. The um just the, the just the uh, environment and location in general is really cool to me. I did say a little bit um, at the beginning. I really like the kind of um lost in the middle of nowhere antarctic kind of like the more cold places like i really enjoy um like ship ones where people like the old old style lost at sea things that go on um and like people slowly turning against each other slowly losing their mind i think that's really cool the the build up and the tension was phenomenal Sa like sound effects and stuff was great as always that's always been one of my favorite things about um John Carpenter's films the suspense and build up in general has always been in incredible like for the first Halloween film there's no blood in that there's no blood at all there's no gore it's just so suspenseful it's such an incredible build up and so intense all the time um and obviously this one just, just nailed that and with the gore on top is incredible this is incredible gore i was going crazy over the gore i loved it it was amazing we're gonna talk even more about the practical effects it was just it yeah the that i i generally do think that's probably the best practical effects i might have ever seen um just the layers of the thing coming out different parts moving out of each other um as i said i i work with i, I make stuff with clay so i do a lot, a lot of sculpting and stuff and you can see the details of the wrinkles sculpted in and then darker colors painted in the wrinkles and things like that um anyone that's an artist you can really appreciate um the level of depth depth on that and like the glaze over it like to make it all shiny and now gooey and disgusting it was just fantastic i loved it it's incredible and then like th there was some like purple painting over it that really kind of makes it look bruised and otherworldly and alien like and i really liked that Tip the typical green goo and stuff really cool i really i'm like I'm, I'm an absolute sucker for that kind of stuff a, a lot of people have said it's a slow burn which i don't think it is i think from the get-go like it had an cr incredible opening horror in ho incredible as in it was horrifying because i was like i i do i do i'm one of those people that can't really watch stuff if there's a lot of animal cruelty in it um like uh, i i mean i did watch a bit of i did watch most of like cannibal holocaust but in general i just thought that that was a shit film but the the um animal cruelty and that film was just like just off-putting for me especially with dogs um i just don't i don't enjoy it but this one i had no no issues with it was done really well it was a great introduction to the infection or the alien the thing um it was that was really cool and seeing the dogs all of the designs for the different variants of the thing um it was just done so incredibly that i thought it was pretty fast paced i thought I, w I wouldn't call that a slow burn um i've seen some slow burns in my time like lake mungo is a great slow burn um rosemary's baby kind of gerald's game um six them maybe yeah so but i like i think that this was really quite action-packed honestly i wouldn't i wouldn't call it a slow burn but um the gore scenes were super intense um and i loved them absolutely incredible gore scenes really great yeah very very tense very stressful um I, watching for it i feel like you constantly feel paranoid who it is and all that i i, I really liked the kind of aspects of making you feel like a detective watching through it it, it was great because I, I it was good because i just genuinely was like i don't know who, who it could be anyone it could be everyone it could be all of you it's really really made me want to watch more um alien themed uh sci-fi horror now because i just think i like i've got a newfound obsession with that kind of genre at the minute um so maybe maybe i will go back and watch the alien films i don't think i've seen all of them either i'm not sure which ones i've seen i've seen the first one and i've seen two others i don't know how many there are so i'll have to figure out which ones i have seen and which ones i haven't seen um because that would be, definitely be good but i haven't seen the first one since i was a kid as well so again it would be a good rewatch for sure it is if you have any other great recommendations of uh, sci-fi 
like alien vibe horror films like to this effect because um obviously as you guys have figured out by now i'm a huge practical effects fan um i'm an artist it's my kind of thing i love cinematography um anything that gets me like super excited it's like it's, it's just like i want to know how they made that because that was so cool you know things like that um and john carpenter is an absolute genius he's an absolute genius i just adore him so much i really do um i don't know if i've if i've even seen all of john's films to be honest no i haven't i haven't seen all of his films um the fog yes one of you guys re recommended me to watch in the mouth of madness and that is on my list uh so yeah that's definitely definitely a thing i'll be watching i didn't realize he did so many of the uh later halloween films because i as i said i don't like anything after four and even then four is a bit iffy with me the ward yeah i've got a few to go through for sure for sure but um, those kind of, like, I guess you could say it's slow burn as in seeing all of the characters kind of go through different st stages of mental anguish. I really enjoyed that because um, I have like, kind of, it's the same with like Blair Wi the Blair Witch Project. My opinions on the Blair Witch Project is I really like the build up of that, the anticipation, seeing the characters mentally go through different things, like, um, like completely losing their minds, but I hated the ending. Um, so that 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 kind of seeing characters go through that and seeing them all deal with something in a different way is is always really interesting to me um because everyone's going to deal with things in a different way and that was why it was interest that's why it was really cool to see the doctor kind of lash out like that because um everyone kind of went through their own processing of the event and that's always fascinating to me i really enjoy seeing that done in movies um, as I said, I've said before, because we don't know how we would deal with situations like this. I don't know if I've said before, but sci-fi isn't really, a, it wasn't ever really a huge genre that I, my, my opinion for sci-fi is that I hate it if it's sci-fi on its own, but if it's a genre that is included with something else, I think it's fantastic, like sci-fi horror sci-fi fantasy aka star wars um that i i really don't enjoy sci-fi on its own i think it's really it can be really boring if there's not something else with it um but sci-fi horror has very quickly become a new obsession of mine so <laughs> it's a 10 out of 10 for me it's a 10 out of 10 it's gotta be it's gotta be so yeah that'll be it from me guys and i want to thank you all for watching so much and just a reminder before we wrap this up um to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this i'm so happy to have you here skeletons you this channel has been my my little baby and i love it so much and i really enjoy chatting horror stuff with you guys i enjoy the trivia you guys give me um about the film about uh, about whatever we are watching it's so much fun seeing your guys's theories and stuff is fantastic i love that this way i love discussing um fan theories and things about horror films so please keep that up that is awesome um in the comments and tell me how you felt about it be sure to follow me on social media on my twitter and my instagram they will be linked below and and i stream on twitch every monday tuesday and wednesday so be sure to pop along for those i wear my heart monitor for the scary ones too i want to thank you all guys for coming as well and also say we hit 500 subscribers so yeah Thank you guys so much. I didn't expect to have such a quick growth of things. Thank you so much for being here with me and I love you all so much. Stay safe, stay spooky and have a wonderful day skeletons. I love you very much. Goodbye.